Here at UNSW, we're one of the world leaders for quantum computation in silicon, with more than two decades of experience in this topic. One of my projects here is to help with the development of a quantum processor that employs the spins of single electrons as quantum bits. The other project is to set up an ultra-low temperature optical lab, which will allow us to perform optical experiments at ultra-low temperatures of millikelvin. And this is a very exciting project because the laboratory will be an open access facility and that will lead to interactions and collaborations with researchers from all around the world. Quantum computing is a really hot topic at the moment because it promises to solve problems that are too complex to be solved with classical computers. It will help to contribute to solving the grand challenges that we are facing. So it will help to develop new catalysts or materials, for example, for more efficient fertilizer production or power distribution or even for the development of medicines. My project contributes to these goals and helps to strengthen UNSW's global reputation in the area of fundamental quantum sciences and quantum computation. The Scientia Fellowship is a prestigious tenure-track faculty position. This means that a Scientia Fellow is considered a full member of staff with all the advantages that come with it. So for example, it allowed me to apply for UNSW Research Infrastructure Grant to procure a new laser source for the lab. It has also opened many doors for collaborations and I was even nominated to participate in a center of excellence. There are two advantages with the Scientia Fellowship program, which I can see helping me and affecting me for the near future. One is that it's a research-only position, so I can really focus on the research and don't have to spend too much time on teaching. The other advantage is to, to be able to go to work in industry or work at a different university. It's kind of like a sabbatical that allows me to go somewhere else, do something else and learn something new, and then come back here with a new knowledge and be able to apply it. 